Okay, now the scripture God is giving us is Psalm 94. Uh, verse 17. If the Lord had not been my help, my soul would soon have lived in the land of silence. Amen. Uh, this is a subjunctive past one that if the Lord had not been my help, uh, that is actually he was my help. So uh, this subjunctive uh, premise is not uh, uh, no meaning at all, but uh, still we have very strong uh, confi uh, confidence that God uh, had been our help. If not, my soul would be would soon uh, have lived in in the land of silence. In the land of silence, well, where it is, it is the Sheol, the world under under the world means uh, the place where the dead people go and gather. But we are now living here because of the help of God. So now we are uh, think, thinking of the help that God is giving us today. Psalm 94 is the psalm that uh, uh, someone, a uh, known uh, poet, who is writing all about God's help. Uh, in the beginning, uh, he mentions about uh, God's uh, caring and uh, saving out of uh, the enemies, uh, the foes surrounding, attacking. Even though uh, people are that vicious, wicked, attacking the righteous, uh, still we have a confirmation because God has been the help. Uh, but they, they think uh, there is no God at all. They think God is not working at all. Uh, uh, so uh, they uh, are very uh, wicked uh, in attacking the righteous people, uh, thinking that verse 7 says, uh, the Lord does not see, the God of Jacob does not perceive. They think, they think God is like an idol made out of the wood, out of iron, out of uh, a rock, no uh, living uh, at all. So not seeing, cannot perceive at all, even though they are committing the sins and the wickedness. However, the poet had the strong con uh, confirmation, uh, conviction that God is living God, unlike other idols. So uh, God is the help, uh, protection uh, given to me and uh, uh, salvation uh, 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 given to me. So this is God who is uh, saving and protecting and helping me. Brothers and sisters, we are living in this uh, world uh, that are, uh, uh, we are surrounded by many enemies who think there is no God. They don't give any attention to God, any attention to the Bible. Instead, they are, they are more people of the materials, materialisms. They think uh, the life comes from uh, the money. They think the life uh, come from the idols that they made out of the rocks, out of, out of uh, the wood and out of irons, gold and silver. But that's nonsense. That's not true at all. And we believe that God is living God and God is giving us the help. And this is the way that uh, we have very strong confidence living in this world. Even though we are minorities, uh, people more people, much, much more people are living uh, worldly matters, like looking for materials, thinking the money may save them their lives. But even though we are minority, we shall have no fear at all because God is with us, because God is the help to us. Amen. Psalm 94 is very similar to uh, Psalm 121, uh, uh, which is uh, mainly focusing about uh, the help of God. This is uh, one of the 15 the Psalms of ascending, ascending to the temple Jerusalem, beginning 120 to 134. Uh, about 10% of our uh, whole Psalms, we have this ascend. And one of it, we find this 121, 
I lift my eyes to the hills. From where does my help come? My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade on your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time forth and forever. Amen. So now we find here, God is the help. When I look up the mountain and thinking and uh, uh, you know, waiting for the help, where my help come from? And it is from the mountain, where the mountain Zion, Jerusalem is. And where uh, you know, the God is uh, there uh, you know, by, by his name. God is the creator God who created the heavens and the earth, who will be our help. And he will keep Israel, and he will keep all the Christians believing who believes in Jesus Christ. He is the keeper, and he is the shade. Keeper and the shade means protect, protector and the help. Hebrew, uh, the help is Ezel. Ezel is the help, which is very significant. Now, let me... Uh, to give you a couple of examples that Ezel uh, was used in the name making. Uh, one was uh, Abraham. Abraham who was called when he was 75. And uh, he obeyed. He went to the land of Canaan not knowing where he was supposed to go. And there he stayed that long time. And a certain day, God said, uh, look, uh, I will give you uh, your heirs, uh, that many. And he said, God, you didn't give me yet. Uh, I have Eliezer from Damascus. He would be my heir. He was servant. He was a slave. Because you do not give me, you do not give me an heir, a son uh, from my body. So he had a doubt about God. But God brought him out and he said, you look at, look upon the sky. And in the night, he, God commanded, you count how many stars can you? Then many uh, heirs you will have, offsprings come out of your loin from your body. And then Abraham believed in God. Eliezer was my God is help, the name signifies. And I'll, I'll give you a second example, the Moses, who was called when he was 80. But when he uh, was uh, 40, yeah, he did <clears throat> some attempt to uh, do something good to his people, Israelites. But it failed. Nobody recognized him as a leader. God was not with him. And he fled to uh, Midian, uh, the desert washes, for 40 years. And he became 80 years. He became an old man. And one day when he uh, was uh, you know, at the shepherding uh, the sheep, the flock of his father-in-law, uh, near to the mountain uh, Sinai, he saw a uh, wonderful thing, that fire but not burning a, a tree, a bush. There, uh, he found something very interesting and very holy. There, God appeared. And God said, Moses, Moses, take off your shoes because this is a holy place. And uh, he feared, but God said, now I am sending you to, I am sending you to the land of Egypt to save my people coming out of, bringing out of the land of Egypt to hear this mountain. And uh, uh, this Moses had two sons. Uh, one was uh, Gerson, which comes from Ger, which means sojourner. Second one was Eliezer, my God is help. Uh, 
Eliezer, my God, was help. In the beginning, in, in the first son's name was Gerer. He was a, a sojourner in the foreign land. But the second son's name was Eliezer, my son, uh, uh, you know, my God, help. So my God, help. Brothers and sisters, we have help coming from God. And this help is very significant, very important. Because it, this is not like the help from people, not from assistants, not from uh, teachers, not from parents. This is absolute, most powerful help. Uh, we, even though we die, uh, this help may bring us from death to stand up the resurrection. Even though we, when we lose any, any power, uh, it is the Holy Spirit to come and uh, empower us to stand up again. And this is the power, and uh, this is the love, cassette, endless love, unconditional love, that's saving us from the death, from the sins. As we have committed sins, uh, you know, the price of the sin is the death. We have no other destiny but to die eternity. However, it is God who come to us and to save us. The help is coming from uh, above. And that help is uh, what here the poet is today. Uh, unnamed poet is uh, mentioning about that. If God has not been my help, I have been lived in the land of silence. The land of silence is the place where the dead people are staying. So I am now here in the living land. I am now here praising the Lord, listening to the word of God because of the help that come from God. Because God is the help. God is the help. Brothers and sisters, we need help. People, we need help. Some people believe that we need to uh, help from ourselves. So we need to help ourselves. We shall not wait for anybody else. Uh, but that's not true. Humans are weak. Humans are not that strong. Cannot support, cannot save themselves at all. We need help. We all need to understand our uh, you know, the situation, who we are, what we can. thing is clear that we are nothing. We are but sinners deserving death. We cannot help ourselves at all. Nobody can help. So we cannot wait for other people, other friends, our uh, other brothers and sisters. They help at all. How about the parents? Yes, they are good. Not all, however, but uh, many parents are good parents, devotional. However, they are growing old. They lose their insight and power and care, and finally they pass away. Then what shall you do? If you lose your parents, what shall you do? You, when you think uh, the help comes from your parents, the same thing, professors or friends, or humans are not uh, be the help at all. Only the help comes from God, everlasting God. Brothers and sisters, if God had not been our help, we might have lived in the land of silence. But graciously speaking, luckily, and uh, um, wonderful thing is, God has been the help to us. That's why we are here. This, this year, this time, in the beginning time of the year 2024, let us recognize that the help is existing to us. The help is given to us because God is with us. Emmanuel, hallelujah. God is with us. God promised, I will not depart from you forever in any situations. Even though, even though you pass through the, uh, the valley of the shadow of death, I will be with you. Even though you pass through the waters, the waters may not overwhelm you. And even though you pass through the, plane, the fires, the fire may not burn you at all. Because I am with you. Because I am with you. God is the help. God does not substitute himself, his presence, by anything else. But he himself is with us. God does not send something else, but he himself is with us. This is the good news. Even though God sends angels to us, what angel said is, God is here. God is here. So Emmanuel is the message of the angels. 
brothers and sisters, let us pray for all the blessings uh, that we might share with other people because uh, it is commanded by Lord Jesus Christ. As I taught you, you go out to the people and speak and then let them obey what you speak. So not only hearing, but also obeying be the way of living together with the help. The help is our realities we are living with. Help. Yes, God is with us. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for your blessings. You have come to us as the help. As we look for the help and looking at the mountain with the destiny, with the desperate, the waiting for the help. And then finally we met you. As we go back to you upon the mountain where the Zion is, there you waited for us. As the prodigal son, we go back home and the you, yes, there and waiting for us. Thank you for, for your being together with us, giving us the help. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now this time we are praying for an offering. If you're able then, please stand up. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for your loving us, giving this wonderful message to us. Uh, now we have uh, things to bring back to you, but uh, they are all from you. You gave us for the living and also for the mission that you gave us as you called us. Heavenly Father, now we are returning back to you. And also we want to dedicate ourselves as, as well. Our time and all things we want to dedicate, uh, bringing back to you. Please allow us to return those back to you. And also we want to be dedicated to be healthy, to be wise, to be spiritual. Help us. Make us whole, good in, uh, in the eyes of God. We pray all these in Jesus' name. Amen.